Yanto, I haven't seen you in chapel lately. I have been too busy. What business, may I ask? Mine. Only asking a civil question, I was. And having a civil answer, I have been busy with the union. Unions are the work of the devil. You will come to no good end. At least I am not sitting on it, talking a lot of rubbish in chapel. Look here! Oh, it... leave it now. I'll be saying something to be sorry. This is a matter that requires airing. Yanto, why do you think we of the chapel talk rubbish? My remark was not aimed at you. Then name it. Very well. Because you make yourselves out to be shepherds of the flock. And yet you allow your sheep to live in filth and poverty. And if they try and raise their voices against it, you calm them by telling them their suffering is the will of God. Sheep indeed. Are we sheep to be herded and sheared by a handful of owners? I was taught man was made in the image of God. Not a sheep. Yanto, I haven't expressed my views around here because I haven't had any wish to interfere in a family disagreement. You have my permission to speak. Very well, then. Here is what I think. First, have your union. You need it. Alone, you are weak. Together, you're strong. But remember that with strength goes responsibility to others and yourselves. For you cannot conquer injustice with more injustice. Only with justice and the help of God. Are you coming outside your position in life, Mr. Griffith? Your business is spiritual. My business is anything that comes between man and the spirit of God. The deacons shall hear that you've been preaching socialism. Mr. Parry, loose the old devil. Mr. Stop Parry, I'm... now he is our guest. Beth, a pint of home brew to Mr. Parry. I'll give him a clout over the head of the frying pan. Oh. Miss Jenkins, a sweet song, the harp is in. Come on, man, get in here. 